Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I want to go over Airtable, which is a great uh, database resource, uh, just like uh, Google Sheets. Uh, but with Airtable, you have uh, much more control. You have automations. You have you have a lot of things you can do with Airtable. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, I would like to point your attention uh, to my store right over here. Here you have you will see all the automations that I've done both with N8 and and with Make. You can download them as a pack or you can uh, download some of them individually. Uh, you also have some courses as well if you want to learn more about an end and or make if you're uh, changing from one to another. Uh, so I'll put the link in the description below and let, let's get ahead and start, okay? So I'm here in N8N and I have my first uh, node, which is the first step, which is called a trigger step. A trigger step is the step that starts the, the automation. All right, so uh, what we want to do is um, get access to my Airtable account. So uh, I'm gonna go over to Airtable and I'm gonna choose actions here and I'm going to, uh, now there's a lot of actions. You can create a record, update, delete, get, search, or update. So there's a lot of things uh, here we can do. Uh, let's first get, uh, let's, let's search for example first, okay? So here I have my account here. You can add your account, you can add another account here. You only need is the access token that you can create in the settings. Uh, in your uh, in your Airtable Air account. It's so right in here uh, in the personal access tokens, you can create one. All right, so uh, let's go back. I have here in my work uh, workspace, I have a base called contacts and inside of it, there's a table with some contacts. All right, so in Airtable, I want to, uh, I want to search uh, here. I can select the base and I can choose the table and I can do a filter by formula or return all. Let's try with return all. And then we have seven items right here with their ID uh, name and everything. So it's a very good way to return everything this way. Okay, and here we have options uh, and sorting rules that we can do. Sorting, of course, you can sort ascending or descending. Okay, very, very, uh, a lot of control here. And here you have the filtering. Uh, if empty, all records will be returned. You can put your uh, filter. Now, uh, here I can also search for record or for base. Now, let's go ahead and create. So when you create one, they will put you all the fields that you need to fill. Let's try to do one, it's called test02, and called test02 at hotmail.com. And then I'll grab one of those numbers and add a little bit to it. So I added everything here. I have only uh, some options and I can do test step. There you go, it told, it told me that it created the field. Let's go ahead and refresh. And there you go, the field that we just created. Now let's, let's say I wanna delete. So if I delete, then I would need a record ID, okay? So I could put the record ID here and then I, it will just delete. What if you don't have the record ID? Then here you would uh, search for that. So you will use this. We use the search operation before, right? You search and you filter and you get the record ID that you want. Okay. So if we test this and deleted is true and we can go ahead in here and we found it deleted. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do. What is this get? Uh, get also needs a record ID to get whatever ID that you want. Okay. Uh, 
so let's go ahead and add in one here we can duplicate this one actually all right so here this would be search uh, search and then if we test this we'll get all the IDs let's let's say I want to delete this one and from here I can say this is the record ID I want to delete all right so if we run this now uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, the record that I want to get if we run this now Ah, yeah. Oh, that's weird. They all have the same ID. Oh, no, this is the ID that I want. Yep, sorry. So that is the ID that I want here. So if I test now, Yeah, there you go. It brought back. Why it brought back seven? Well, because I have this running. I have seven items here, so it will definitely do seven items after it. Okay. Uh, so what we can do here is put a limit if you if we want limit. Then we can limit it to one, and then uh, right if we run this now. We will only have one item here and then we can drag the ID of that item here. Okay, and then test and then we'll have one. Okay, so that's the get. What else we said we have, we did the search, we did the delete, we did the create. Now there's an update one and update uh, it has of course a column to match so uh, you, you need to put the id here or what we can do is get this one put it there so now it will search for anything with this id and then it will alter whatever you want let's change the number and let's hit test there you go. It says that it okay. There you go. It's it's totally and quickly updated the whole thing. All right. So this is update, and I think that's it. So we can create, delete, get, and search. Get you need you need an ID because it gets a specific one. Search you can search for a certain things that has a certain filter, or you can search for everything. Update. We went over what update is. So one last thing I want to go over is a trigger. Airtable provides a trigger, uh, especially uh, made uh, for Airtable. So if you go to Airtable and then there is a trigger here. So on Airtable event, inside of here, you can set up the trigger. So uh, select your account and then choose how, uh, how frequent you want to get an update. So you can say every minute and then it requires you to go ahead and uh, get the uh, uh, the uh, if I say here sorry so the base you can go ahead and uh, get the base let's see where the uh, base is Uh, I think the code is here so I think this is the base and this is the table let's let's try so by ID so that's the base and then the you are uh, the uh, the ID here is let's go table it starts with TBL so as we expected to this is the table here all right then it says we need to get a trigger field a created time or last modified time 
uh, okay let's go in here let's create a uh, date um, or can we say uh, cre created 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 time so we'll add a created time well, it's taking some it's taking a while uh, okay so it, it it is called created so let's uh, get here triggerful is created and then uh, let's fetch the uh, here you go so this is uh, the test event all right so we got the, la the latest updated one and that's the whole point of this trigger so this all this checks every one minute if there's any changes in the base and the table and the field uh, that you set for and it keeps on updating you if there is any changes if there's no changes there will be no update all right so that wraps up Airtable node i hope you guys enjoyed this lesson if you did like give it a like subscribe for more videos and don't forget to check out the links in the description below thanks for watching